you all live in one house together? Well, because my parents are divorced. D divorced? Mm -hmm. well, what does divorce mean? Sometimes in life, you go through a divorce. Your best friend breaks up with you. Your girlfriend leaves you. Your boyfriend cheats on you. And you break up. Breakups or divorces are part of life. It's inevitable. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. The divorce rate in America, United States, is 40 to 50%. So that means in every two couples, one of them is going to divorce. Then let's think about it. Think about it. This is outrageous. Just the way life works with full of breakups and divorces. Similar to that, there is a big divorce or breakup that just went down in the Dota history. Yes, folks, this is a story of Team OG. More particularly, it's a story focused on the divorce between Big Daddy no -Tell and Fly, the once previously known as the unseparable powerhouse duo, the boy couple, the Backstreet Boys. Fly was the big voice, the monstrous muscle man who would always lead the team, and Big Daddy was the one with the personality. He was the one with the risky style of play. And together they were formidable. In this story, we will go through the beginning of Team OG, how it came to be. Then we will talk about its accomplishments and its failures. And lastly, we will talk about the breakup and what happened. Where did the players go? So right from the beginning. The team started originally in the 2015 to 2016 season. It was formed under the name Monkey Business. And it was comprised of the players named no -Tell, Fly, as well as new and improving talents known as Miracle, Crit, and Moon Meander. This was before any of these guys were really famous. The team achieved their breakthrough during the Frankfurt Major defeating Team Secret in the Grand Finals. Then they continued their impenetrable dominance in the European Dota scene. However, soon after they would place fourth in the Summit 4. And then OG's dominance started to be questioned. Eventually, they would play 7th to 8th at the Shanghai Major, which was a big tournament. Despite this, the team would then rebound. It would finish 3rd place at Epicenter. And then, it would claim its 2nd Major in the year at Manila Master. The squad proceeded to destroy Na'Vi at ESL 1 Frankfurt 2016, winning the tournament and securing their invite to TI6. At this time, Team OG were the first Dota team to win two back-to-back -back majors in a row. They were looking as the team to beat. They were looking and regarded by the world as the favorites to win the entire international tournaments. However, their fall would come. Their demise would come soon after, and good things in life would not last. OG performed well in the group stage, they finished first, but then they were unable to maintain their momentum. Perhaps the spotlight got to the new and upcoming stars. First they would lose against MVP Phoenix, and then head to the loser's bracket. In the loser bracket, they would then get eliminated by TNC Gaming and finish 9th to 12th place. There will be a party in Southeast Asia tonight. They will toast TNC. Due to this catastrophic failure in the International of 2016, Team OG would begin its breakup. At that point, Moon Meander would no longer be an active player and Crit and Miracle would leave the team. However, despite this failure in TI6, the team would not lose its core members. Its most dominant duo, as we previously mentioned, Fly and no -Tell, remain to stick together like honey, like crazy glue that can never be separated. Yes, folks, eventually they would replace Crit, Miracle, and Moon Meander with Jerax, Anna, and S4. Eventually, OG with Anna and the new players were able to win Kiev Major. But despite their sudden arrival, they would also then fall. They were unable to maintain or have strong grip of their momentum. It was very, very unorthodox because they would suddenly play so well and then they would make a crazy drop. It was like a crazy company in the stock market. One day it would rise, and then in a blink of an eye, it goes below what you expect. This is how Team OG played with Anna, Fly, and Big Daddy. Eventually, the fall of OG would begin. In 2017 to 2018, their Dota Pro Circuit points were not enough. The team was not able to do well in any of the tournaments this year. 
and therefore they could not get a direct invite to TI8. OG Anna would leave the team and he would be replaced by Resolution. Resolution's playstyle would not fit in with Team OG and their shorthanded performances would continue. I would say this year uh, when we started out with Resolution, I think we kind of had different views about the game. Although he's a very talented player, I think we just didn't find the right, uh, we couldn't mesh the team the way we wanted to. And after a while where we didn't really have success and you know, we didn't, we had more problems coming in and we tried to solve them. And eventually we felt like they're, we're at a point where we kind of have to make a big change, which is better for everyone. They would lose in the qualifying matches at Star Ladder. They would lose to many LAN tournaments. They would lose at the ESL1 Katavite Major and the Bucharest Major. OG could not win anything. They were looking very similar to evil geniuses. Suddenly, they are just stardom would not be able to outshine anymore. They could not win anymore. Soon after, Resolution would even depart from the team. And then, Team OG would not be qualified for a direct invite for TI8. So as history has shown us, as the divorce would inevitably come to the American couples, so too would come to Fly and Big Daddy. Although they're not an American team per se, the analogy is directly analogous to them. You see, after all of these years of suffering and accomplishments, it was time for them to go separate ways. Big Daddy and Fly could not hold the fort down in OG anymore. OG had fallen. It has lost its mojo. No real carry player wanted to play with them. And the team was going nowhere. Now, as of May 30th, 2018, the future of OG is unknown. We don't know what's going to happen, but we do know where the new boyfriend came. Fly's new boyfriend is Sumail and Evil Geniuses. Yes, folks, Fly has cheated on Big Daddy No Tail with Sumail and Evil Geniuses. This is what is going on right now. So Big Daddy No Tail is stuck in OG. Perhaps he will leave the team as well. But as of this moment, as of right now, this second, on the end of May 2018, Team OG look to be in shambles. They are scattered all over and they have nowhere to go. Their future is absolute darkness. So by now, many of you guys probably are wondering why does the Dota community, the Twitch community, even the Reddit community spam evil geniuses the new OG? Well, Crystal's Dota is going to briefly explain. Team Evil Geniuses have three core members from Team OG or former players of OG. Crit, a founding member, as well as Fly are both part of Evil Geniuses. Recently, S4 also joined Team Evil Geniuses. So now, EG are comprised of S4, Fly, and Crit. These are three previous members of Team OG. Therefore, the constant memes of Team EG is the new OG, well, it is very true. 60% of evil geniuses is all OG. It's crazy and it's very odd to see such players now team up with Arteezy and Sumail. Both seem to have very, very distinct personalities and their egos are probably to the rooftop. Will this team work? Has the break of, of Team OG gone berserk? Is this out of control? What is going on with Evil Geniuses and Team OG? Until next time, this is the crazy roster change and story of Team OG and a little bit of Evil Geniuses. Well, sometimes things don't work out with parents, even though they try and they try, so they decide not to be married anymore. By the way, guys, you can win a TI8 International 2018 Compendium. All you have to do is share, comment, and subscribe to this channel, Crystal's Dota. I really want to support the TI industry, the Dota world. It means so much. So I hope you guys can win. Subscribe, share, and comment.